Okay, so welcome to Math Storia, and we're going to solve for the standard deviation for the group data using the shortcut method. So we have this given scores and the frequency. So first, we need to solve for D. So under column D, you need to put 0 at the middle class. Since we have five classes, so therefore the middle class is the third class, so we need to put zero on this class. Then going up, it's negative, so we have negative one, negative two. Going down, that's positive, so positive one and positive two. Then for the next column, that's uh, d squared, so the square of d. So the square of negative 2, this one is 4. The square of negative 1, this one is 1. The square of 0, that's 0. The square of 1, that's 1. And the square of 2, that's 4. Then for the next column, so solve for the product of F and D. So multiply these two columns, the F and the D. So we have 4 times negative 2, that's negative 8. Then 6 times negative 1, that's negative 6. 8 times 0, this one is 0. And 2 times 1, that's 2. Then 5 times 2, that's 10. Then solve for the summation of f times d. So just add all these numbers. So for negative 8 and negative 6, this one is negative 14. Then positive 2 and 10, this one is 12. So negative 14 plus 12, this one is negative 2. Then for the last column, so the product of f and d squared. So multiply these two columns, the f and the d squared. So we have 4 times 4, this one is 16, then 6 times 1, this one is 6, then 8 times 0, that's 0, 2 times 1, that's 2, and 5 times 4, this one is 20, then solve for the summation of f times d squared, so add these uh, numbers, so this 16 plus 6, this one is 22. And 2 plus 20, this one is also 22. So 22 plus 22. So the summation of FD squared is 44. So we're done with the table. So we can solve now our standard deviation. So formula for the standard deviation, that's uh, class interval times the square root of n times the summation of fd squared minus the square of the summation of fd over n times n minus 1. So n is the total frequency, so just add all this frequency. So the total frequency is 25. Then for the class interval, so the distance between the two classes, so from 35 to 40, so the distance is 5, so this is the class interval. Then substitute now all the values to solve for the standard deviation, so class interval is 5, then times the square root of n, n is 25 times summation of fd squared, that's 44, minus the square of the summation of fd, that's negative 2 squared, then over uh, 25 times 25 minus 1, then simplify, so sd is equal to 5 times the square root, so we have 25 times 44 equals then minus the square of negative 2 equals, so that's 1096. 
So this one is 1,096. Then divide by this 25 times 25 minus 1. So 25 times 24, because 25 minus 1 is 24, that's 600 over 600. Then to solve now for the standard deviation, so we have now the square root, then open parenthesis, so 1096 divided by 600, close parenthesis, then equals, then times the class interval. So the standard deviation now is 6.76. So, this is the standard division, 6.76. Then, for this problem, so again, solve for D and put 0 at the middle class. Since we have even number of class, so therefore, we can choose between these two classes for our middle class. So for this example, I put my 0 on the third class, so this one is 0. So going up, that's negative. Going down, that's positive. Then solve for d squared. So the square of negative 2, this one is 4. Square of negative 1, that's 1. This one is 0. Then 1, then we have 4. And 3 squared, that's 9. Then solve for f times d, so the product of these columns, the f and the d, so 5 times negative 2, that's negative 10. 7 times negative 1, this one is negative 7. Then 9 times 0, that's 0. 4 times 1, that's 4. 8 times 2, this one is 16. And 2 times 3, that's 6. Then solve for the summation of f times d. So just add all these numbers. So negative 10 and negative 7. This one is negative 17. Then 4 plus 16 plus 6. So this one is 26. So negative 17 plus 26. So the summation of fd is positive 9. Then for the last column, so the f d squared, so the product of these two columns, so the f and the d squared, so we have 5 times 4, this one is 20, 7 times 1, that's 7, 9 times 0, this one is 0, 4 times 1, that's 4, and 8 times 4, this one is 32. Then 2 times 9, this one is 18. Then solve for the summation of fd squared. So add all these numbers. So this is 20 plus 7, this one is 27. Then 4 plus 32 plus 18, so 40, 50, this one is 54. So 27 plus 54, that's 81. So we're done with the table. So we can solve now for the standard division. So SD is equal to the class interval times uh, N times the summation of FD squared minus the summation of FD, then quantity squared over n times n minus 1. So n is the total frequency. So the total frequency is uh, 10, 20, 35. So n is equal to 35. Then for the class interval, so the distance from 21 to 28. So that's 7. So 7 is the class interval. So substitute now the values. So we have 7 times uh, 35 times summation of fd squared. That's 81 minus uh, 9 then squared over n is 35 times 35 minus 1. Then simplify. So sd is equal to 7 
then the square root. So we have 35 times 81 equals then minus 9 squared. So that's 2,754. So this one is 2,754 over this 35 times 34 because 35 minus 1, that's 34. That's 1,190. So 1,190. So to solve now for the standard division, so we have the square root in open parenthesis, 2,754. Then divide by 1,190, close parenthesis, equals then times 7. So this is now the standard division, that's 10.65. So the standard division is 10.65. Then what if I put 0 on this class? Do we get the same answer? So let's try to solve if we put 0 on this class. So going up is negative. This one is D. Then going down is positive. Then the D squared. This one is 9, 4, 1, 0, 1, and 4. Then FD, so product of F and D, this one is negative 15, negative 14, negative 9, 0, 8, and 4. Then summation of FD, so negative 15 and negative 14, then negative 9, this one is negative uh, 38, this one is positive 12, so summation of FD is negative. 26. Then we have this FD squared. So 5 times 9, this one is 45. Then 7 times 4, that's 28. Then this one is 9. Then 0. Then 8 times 1, this one is 8. And 2 times 4, this one is also 8. Then summation of FD squared. So 45 plus 28, that's 73 plus 9, that's 82. Then 8 plus 8, this one is 16. So 16 plus 82, that's 98. So this is now the table. Then we can solve now for the standard deviation. So again, N is 35. And the class interval is 7. So SD now is equal to uh, 7 times 35 times uh, summation of FD squared. That's 98 minus uh, this negative 26 squared over 35 times 35 minus 1. So uh, simplify now. So we have 7 times the square root, so that's uh, 35 times 98 equals minus the square of negative 26, that's 2,754. So 2,754. Then over this uh, 35 times 35 minus 1. So 35 times 34, that's 1,190. So 1,190. So SD now is equal to, so we have the square root of 2,754 divided by 1,190. Then close parenthesis equals times the class interval 7. That's 10.65. So SD is equal to 10.65. So therefore, we have the same answer. So if we put 0 at the 4th class, so 10.65.